My son is four years old and his name's Henry and he has allergies to seven or eight different types of nuts and tree pollen and some plants and flowers. I'd been to hospital for an appointment to have Henry assessed and his results indicated that he had a really strong reaction to some nuts particularly and we were given a prescription straight away to go to the pharmacy where we received two EpiPens and although um, it was great to get this medicine it came with a leaflet of how to administer it and it was also I think quite frightening to know that ultimately it was up to me to, to deal with that when, if and when it happened. These are called adrenaline auto injectors. They are medical devices which carry uh, adrenaline, uh, a medication for emergency use. Um, people who need to carry an auto, adrenaline auto injector are people who are at risk of having a severe allergic reaction. The first device we studied was EpiPen, uh, which has a safety cap one end, the injection comes out of the other end. Uh, we also studied uh, Anapen, Jext, uh, the, the second generation EpiPen, just all slightly different devices, and the audio prompt device uh, AlviQ. We evaluated how easy these devices are to use uh, in an emergency scenario. We evaluated 200 mothers of food allergic children, we gave them different devices and compared their ability to use those devices under a semi-realistic, stressful uh, scenario where it feels like they're having to treat their uh, allergic, the child having a severe allergic reaction. Using the dummy to administer the pen as a practice was actually quite stressful because it was the nearest I'd been to having to actually do it in real life and it made me realise how essential it is to have the EpiPen but also that it's quite important to know what you're doing. To our great disappointment we found that less than half of the women six weeks after first being trained with an adrenaline auto-injector could actually use the device successfully. The second thing we did was that we took the same 200 mothers who'd had their device for a year and we said, well, what happens if they switch device? Um, if they switch to a different device design, will that mean that they're less able to uh, deliver adrenaline in an emergency scenario or will it improve their um, uh, ability to, to, to treat uh, severe allergic reactions in their child? The results of the, the, the the, the assessment at one year were very interesting. We found that when people switched between devices that were very different, then their success rates dropped. So for example, when someone switched from an EpiPen to an Anapen, which are quite different mechanisms uh, of action, then their success rates were very, very poor. Uh, when they switched to between devices of quite similar design, such as EpiPen and Jext, success rates remained stable. As I said, not very good in the first place, but they didn't drop. Um, and, but the most remarkable finding at one year was that when people switched from any device uh, to the RVQ, the, the audio prompt device, then they really had very high success rates, uh, quite different to the original success rates seen on Anapen and EpiPen at, at six weeks. To inject, place black end against outer thigh, then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Injection complete. It was easy to use, it was very appealing to any parent with a child that has allergies, but equally appealing for schools, school nurses, child carers, nannies, anyone that was going to be looking after a child with allergies. It had that fail-safe approach. So our conclusion is that device design really matters and that if we're trying to, if we're spending many millions of pounds a year on an emergency medical treatment carried by um, uh, uh, thousands of people around this country alone, then we need to be sure that we're using a device which is fit for purpose, a device which will be easy to be used in a, in a stressful scenario in the community uh, and, and, and can therefore successfully deliver the drug to the person who needs it.